Sometimes with these uh, CCRs, the pre-production is wild. <laughs> wild in the pre-production and backstage. But welcome to another episode of Car Carnival Reviews with the oh. Lessons of the Ninjas. You have myself, Scoostalgia. You got Taiki V joining us. And then you got the final boss. The final boss. Yes, Cosmic sir. boss down below. You might can't you might can't tell. You probably can't tell from the hey. color scheme and everything, <laughs> but hey, we're here to talk about Houston's Nostalgia Con 2024. It is the mm-hmm. first one that graced the city of Houston. And it was epic, y'all. Yes. It was yes. it was it was epic. Uh that's actually we'll my first time seeing the logo. Yeah, that's the logo. You know, that's we got cool the I guess got I the just little three attention. day past there. You know, we was in that building. We was in that thing. Like yin yang. And to just go ahead and just give quick thoughts. I loved it. Yes, I loved it. I love the atmosphere. I love the theme. I appreciated the amount of guests. I appreciated the layout, which I will show in a bit. I appreciate everything about it. And I can appreciate the fact that you get that weird duality of seeing this convention compared mm-hmm. to Comic Palooza, which is held in the same building. But mm-hmm. it just felt so different. Very. It felt so different. Wait, on a side note, I was looking at boss's atmosphere and i was like low-key i feel like i should turn mine on and we could be vibing out here together i mean why not it's, it's a, right? that's still time oh, but, no, no, no. yeah go ahead that's time. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> while, we, while we getting into it uh i guess while uh taiki is setting up his thing boss you got a chance to go how did you yeah. feel kind of the difference between nostalgia con compared to comic palooza especially with them being held in the same space the best way I could put this, this felt like what Comic Palooza used to be. Facts. Oh shit, mine not showing like, up the third way. The first time I went to Comic Palooza, 2013, 2014, this felt like that. Like Comic Palooza has gotten, like to use an Aranya term, too big for its britches. Like, too much dip on the chip. Too much dip on the chip. Like, like it is, and like here's the thing. New York Comic Con and San Diego Comic Con are multiple times bigger and more extravagant. But and we haven't been, but I have not heard of a single bad person give either one of those like a, a bad like <laughs> like you know word. Drag yeah. But drag them. Houston's Comic Palooza over like we could say just like it's over the last six years. It is just. It hit up here when we started going, and it's just like going downstairs, just in quality. There used to be so much, there used to be a lot, and it used to be just fun to go to, and it's not anymore. This was refreshing from the layout to the number of people. Since he, since he mentioned it. Right. like It was pretty much your layout. So as you can see, the perimeter what celebrities if you look close enough you can see names mm-hmm. uh dead center with the numbers those were all of the different vendors and things like that so it, you're literally just surrounded by the celebrities and then kind of even in the middle you had celebrities and then you had wrestling with hybrid pro wrestling uh from uh san antonio kind of right there as soon as you walk in so they definitely utilize the layout and it left space. Huh? I didn't know they give you like a little map. That's yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And then like if you know like a certain vendor is going to be there, you can be like, oh, I need to go to A. Like, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And it left space so you can maneuver everything it doesn't seem so tight and close knit and close together. But just to read <laughs> off some of the guests that was there, you had uh Michael Yurchak, who's Pain, the the English version of Pain and Naruto. You had Nolan North. Nolan. Nor- Funny thing is about Nolan North. Nolan North was a replacement because David Hayter, you know the legendary voice of Solid Snake, originally canceled. So yes, they sir. scrambled to get Nolan North 
But then David Hayter came back and was like, you know what? I can still make it, big dogs. You had John Reese Davies. Yeah, you heard what I said. John Reese Davies. Gimli himself. Yes, sir. Don't tell the off. <laughs> Give them hell, Indiana. You had Bam Margera, Nicholas P. Jones in his first appearance at a convention who's famous for chowder. You had Ned Luke, Sean Solo Fontino, who's from Grand Theft Auto fame. It's so many people. Stephen Ogg, of course, who's Trevor from Grand Theft Auto. You had Laz Alonzo and Karen Fukuhara from The Boys. More on that later. The you cast had, of Ned's Declassified. Yes. <laughs> you had Drake Bell, Allison <laughs> Cook, who is Jubilee, Nathan Chris from I Carly, uh, Chris Rager, who's known for Hercule, Josh Martin, who's known for Majin Buu, Jeremy Shada, who's Finn the Human from Adventure Time, Jason Marsden, who's uh, Max from a Goofy movie, Ray Hurd, Lenore Zahn, who's Rogue. It's so many people. So mm -hmm. many people. And there's mad, mad folks I still didn't even name. Because there was that many people who was there. Even with the cancellations, they still had so many people here. And they kept with the theme. Which Hartman, you know, the creator of the Fairly Odd Parents and Danny Phantom. Mm -hmm. Like, the nostalgia was real. No pun intended at this convention. But, right. Like how we do these conventions, you know we got to show off the merch and show off the interaction. So just to show off, you know, I, I don't remember the vendor I got it from, but for the people who know, you know, for the for the for the Harry Potter fans out there, you mm -hmm. know, your boy house is Big Gryffindor. You know Big what Griff? I'm saying? Big Griffs. And I have to go ahead and introduce myself to these metal wallets. As you can see with the big Gryffindor, <laughs> big lions on there, big roar. And I got a chance to introduce Tyke B to the to the world of pop soap, which you know your boy had to revisit, you know, got that fight club blood orange, you know what I'm saying? Smell of vision, mm. smell of vision. Uh the washing dead, once again, smell of vision, smell of vision. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Pineapple and banana. You know what I'm saying? Smell it through the camera. And then, you know, first time getting this one, the Rocker, the Rocker, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. You know, oh man, that was so dope. Black Raspberry. Smell it through the camera. What else? Um, a black owned uh, clothing company, Culture Original. Go ahead and hold that up there. You know, since I'm a sock junkie. You know what I'm saying? I had to get me some socks from them. Taki B got him a sweatshirt. I don't know if he got it on him. Add it on me. Right. There you go. Got a nostalgia con pin to commemorate. Got the tote to commemorate. As you can see, some nostalgic things all over this tote. Oh, let, me, let, me, let me turn it over so you can see more of that. You know, just all nostalgia, no pun intended. Sides too, just stuff everywhere. From Dirk Designs, which I love they stuff so much, that spectacular Scrooston pen. Come on, clear it up. Clear it up. Mm. You might have to do it up. Yeah, I might have to do the hand. Come on. There you go. There, go. there it is. Uh huh. See if I can get a little bit closer, but nope. All right, don't be that way. What else did I get? You know, since the missus love her some Harry Potter once again, the elder one and Luna Love Goods one. You know. Mm -hmm. And then I lost the card because I cannot find it. But we got some incredible artwork. From this black artist, and my goodness, look, look, just just look at it. Mm. Black Panther and Storm. I also got yes. my swim crew. And you know, Mike got Gambit. Just not only do you get the incredible artwork, but then they got comics in the background to show even more. Like, 
the moment I saw these, like I halted and was like, nope, we have to go over that. And I wish I can find the card so I can let y'all know who did it. And I feel bad. Oh, you ain't got the card? I don't know where I did it with it. Oh, wait, 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 no, I did find it. Oh, here it go. There you go. Jordan Solomon. JordanSolomonDesign.com. I think same for his Instagram, but there you go. Healed it. Healed it with the artwork. Then I was able to pick up some vinyls. You know what I'm saying? Some vinyls. Mm. Picked up the juvenile, back that thing up, back that ass up, single on vinyl, you know, taking over for the 99 and the 2000. Okay. I understand his standing. In American public, but P. Diddy and the family, all about the Benjamins, single on vinyl. Got that fun some nights on vinyl, but that was pretty much like the haul. Now, of course, Tyke B and I got a chance to meet some celebrities. You know, we got a chance to live out some Ranger fantasies. Well, we got a chance oh, to meet oh, oh, oh. Karen Ashley, you know, <laughs> morphin' time. Oh, she's still adorable. Look at her. Yes. Very adorable. Yes. It's morphin' time. Then, like we mentioned, Laz Alonzo, your boys was with M.M. <laughs> and we had a great interaction with Laz Alonzo. First thing he said to us was like, man, y'all out here making me look small, man. Come on now. They're going to be looking at the pictures like, nah, that ain't MM y'all taking pictures with. And then it was like, yeah. Yeah. But hey, and that was all between Friday and Saturday. Taiki, what you think of it? Since you don't get a chance to go to a lot of conventions like that, what you think of Nah, that's fucking fine. Oh, wait, can I cuss? <laughs> yeah, uh, you already did it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, it was fire. It was, um, yeah, no, the vibes was immaculate. You know hear I me? Mean? Everybody in there was chill as fuck. It was cool. The wrestling was cool. The guests was yep, cool. Tyra School of Wrestling once again, San Antonio. It was a it was a huge turnout. It was a lot of it was a lot of folks up there. So. Yeah, I look forward to, to going again. Next time I want to dress up. I don't know. I, I don't know. Do, though, but next time I definitely want to dress up and join in on the festivities. Maybe shit. Maybe I'll be a Power Ranger. I mean, why not? <laughs> You'll be the biggest Power Ranger ever. I know. You know what I'm saying? I don't think they had any Rangers standing six seven, six six. Yeah, no, I don't think so either. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we enjoyed it. All we want to say is the nostalgia coming. Y'all already announced 2025 in Houston for mm-hmm. August 22nd through the 24th. Just like what Boss said earlier, don't get big headed. Right. Don't get too much dip on the chip. Keep keep it keep it keep it the way you're keeping it. Keep it because uh, who was it? Boss or was it Tyke? You heard y'all heard people talking about coming Palooza. Oh, that was, that was, that was like me. <laughs> but no, like we, we, I heard him too, but yeah. Okay. It, yeah. No. I was and like, because, like, like, because, like, and I'm not going to say who it was because I know who it was. Like, we know them, Scoop. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah oh, we okay, know word. them. Yeah, right. So, they're one of our favorite boots. Let's go say that. Okay. So, all right, so it like they there, they were there, and it was like, yeah, yeah, they know, they they saw it, and so look, like man, because Copper Blues have got a lot of issues. They change the layout every year. They get rid of stuff that they had prior years. They add crap nobody wants. Like, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> and you know, one thing I can appreciate with this, you know, as I'm wizarding right now. Mm-hmm. It was all on the first floor. You didn't have to worry about going up to the second floor, third floor. It was all on the first floor. You know what? Right. I, I didn't think about that either. That everything was presented to you just like right there. Even right there. the little game tournament. 
Because usually, like, right there. I have only been to what two comic book losers? Three? I think so. Two okay. or three. But like, even though like the tournaments are like held like off centered into like like second floor and like they own little like section or whatever, and that's like cool too. But like to know they had like the tournament on the floor too was kind of cool. Right there where it says arcade. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right so yeah, I mean there y'all go. Our thoughts about nostalgia con right there and that. It's a it's it's definitely a ten out of ten for me. For yeah. sure. And I will yeah. definitely try to attend next year. And to me, Nostalgia Con works well to me without even the guest list. I'll still go and I, with yeah, the, and somebody I, that I don't want to see. To be yeah, and I, honestly, yeah, I would say just like the the theme itself can warrant and plus like that's like a universal theme. Like I feel like like it opens up for more people to like more guests, you know what I'm saying? Like to like mm-hmm. show up. But yeah, because I mean, we all like feeling nostalgic. Mm-hmm. Damn. Exactly. Like, damn. We all like, no- like feeling nostalgic. <laughs> like, no matter how old you are, like, you could be 16 and go back to remember when we was kids. So it don't matter, like, how old you are. You, you mm-hmm. like to have some type of nostalgic. And that con sets up so many eras that you can be nostalgic with. So I think it's a bomb ass concept and this is dope. Oh, wait, I just thought about it. And coming from a former Nickelodeon slime kid. <laughs> that this is, true. is pretty fucking fabulous. That is true. <laughs> that is true. But yeah. The official slime kid of 1997. <laughs> there you go. So hey, that's our thoughts about nostalgia con. Whether you loved it or hate it, don't forget to rate it. Thumbs up, thumbs down, perfectly thumbs up. Like, right. share, comment. Let us know what you thought about Nostalgia Con. If you missed that, if you went, let us know if you plan on going next year. Let us know if you didn't like it. Whatever. Let us know. We 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 would love the interaction down in those comments. Then also, too, after you do all of that, you gotta subscribe. After you subscribe, you gotta hit that notification bell so that way you can be notified for more CCRs, more taste test boss reacts whatever we decide to post on the channel you know what i'm saying boss got gameplay of beacon pines uh wicked should be up pretty soon all of that hey Alakazam. Boss. Alakazam. give me your defined gravity battle cry <laughs> my what <laughs> that 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 last little note in the fire oh shit, i can't hit that you're not gonna have me <laughs> no 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 nope. no nah. nah. cut the camera Cut the camera, Scoot. (laughs) (laughs) Nope. Love one another. Take care of one another. Love yourself. Take care of yourself. And until Mm. next time, we welcome you to the Ninja Village. Shout outs to Taiki B. Shout outs to the final boss. We just trying to make the Ninja Village proud, y'all. Peace. Mm. Alakazam, Alakazoo, we'll bid you all adieu.